As I mentioned, regular expressions are basically a separate language from Perl, but they are inside Perl. But where else can you use this uh, language? So there are lots of places. Um, the most uh, obvious is grep and egrep, uh, the commands on Unix, but they are also available or can be installed on Windows. Then there are all these uh, the basic Unix tools like sed and oak, and um, such as procmail. But then there are also editors, and actually they, they all they were I mean, sed and oak were earlier than Perl, and, uh, and even grep was earlier than Perl. Um, then there are the editors, the VI, Emacs, and uh, lots of other editors um, have embedded uh, capability of using uh, regular expressions, for example, for searching and searching and replacing text. Uh, also, the other many ad of these programmer editors I mentioned uh, in the first part, like multi-edit and uh, all of the, them usually have some kind of uh, uh, regular expression capabilities. Then the programming languages, so .NET, all the .NET languages have a common uh, library. Java has several libraries, but there is one uh, that's uh, standard. Um, obviously, Perl. Then uh, the the dynamic languages that you see listed here, uh, they all provide regular expressions. Um, and even in Word and OpenOffice, you you will be able to use regular expressions to a certain extent. And then there are these things like uh, PCRE, which is a uh, which is the Perl compatible regular expressions. Uh, it's a library, it's a C library that you can embed in your software when you're building. So in order to provide your users, uh, the users of your software, um, some capability of using your regular expressions. The interesting part is that um, uh, besides uh, these app, uh, which are uh, came before Perl, also all of the others are trying to claim that they are Perl 5 compatible and so and they and they're uh, we're trying to match the capabilities of Perl. Um, in some level, they, they managed. In, in some way, they even uh, exceeded in, in Java, for example. There were uh, some features that uh, weren't available in Perl uh, five years ago. Then the Perl came and then was uh, introduced. A lot of new features were introduced into the regular expressions of Perl. The, if the thing is that the, the language regular expressions is slightly different in these different implementations. Actually, there are two major differences between all these things. One of them is the dialect of uh, of the regular expressions. Uh, in general, they have the same idea of how things should work, but uh, certain things might be different in the various uh, languages and various tools. And one, when you are switching between them, you have to pay attention to this. And then, ob obviously, there are differences in in uh, in the capabilities, so some uh, some of these uh, f provide you only a very limited set of capabilities of regular expressions. Others provide a lot more. But then there is another uh, thing that is very important: is the level of uh, uh, the co level of complexity, how the language, the regular expressions, and the environment is is connected. So what's the environment? Uh, again, regular expressions is a separate language, so it can it's inside PHP, let's say, or inside Python. But in all of these cases, there are like ob function calls, or so in some cases, there are separate classes, like in Java. This is a class, so you uh, you have all kind of methods on the class and so on. Uh, so they are sort of uh, separated. When you're talking about grep or or shell programming, then Usually there is the language, the shell language, or DC shell, or bash, or whatever, and then there are the various tools like grep uh, and sed and oak, and they are totally separate. And then there is Perl, which is the other extreme, where the regular expressions are part of the language. It there's an operator using regular expressions, and that's one of the reasons why so many Perl programmers are using regular expressions to so many more than other languages because the regular expressions are so much more uh, connected to the environment, to the programming language, and we'll see that uh, soon.